Hello everyone! Welcome back sa aking YouTube channel. So for today's video, ang ituturo ko po sa inyo is about illustrating the SAS, ASA, SSS, SAA congruence postulate. So let's have first our objectives. Use properties of congruence in identifying congruence parts and congruent figures. Illustrate the SAS and ASA congruence postulates. Illustrate the SSS and SAA congruence postulate. So, masasabi natin na congruent ang dalawang triangle kung ang kanilang vertices ay maipapares sa isa pang triangle. So that yung mga corresponding sides ay congruent at ang corresponding angles ay congruent din. So, makikita natin dito sa figure na si triangle RTW ay congruent kay triangle MVS. So, kapag nakakita kayo ng gantong symbol, ang, ta ang basa po dito ay congruent. If triangle RTW is congruent to triangle MVS, therefore, si segment RT ay congruent kay segment MV. Si segment TW ay congruent kay segment VS. At si segment RW ay congruent kay segment MS. Angle R is congruent to angle M. Angle T is congruent to angle V and angle W is congruent to angle S. So let's start with the SAS or side angle side congruence postulate. Sinasabi sa postulate na to na congruent daw ang dalawang triangle kapag yung dalawang side at isang included angle ng isang triangle ay congruent respectively doon sa corresponding two sides and included angle ng isa pang triangle. So, let's have an example. So, here we have segment TO is congruent to segment AM. Segment TP is congruent to segment MN. And angle T is congruent to angle M. So, meron tayong dalawang sides na congruent at meron din tayong one pair of angle na congruent. Kapag sinabi natin included angle, ito po ay nasa pagitan ng dalawang side. Kaya uh, tinawag natin siyang side angle side. So therefore, triangle TOP is congruent to triangle MAN by SAS congruence postulate. Example number two, what congruence postulate does the figure below illustrate? So let's see. Kita naman natin na si segment MN at si segment PN ay congruent. Next is si angle MNO, MNO, which is ito, ay congruent kay, seg, kay angle PNO, which is ito. Okay? So, meron na tayong included angle. Ano pa yung isang uh, pair ng isang side? So, ito po ay si segment NO is congruent to segment NO by reflexive property. So, therefore, Triangle MNO is congruent to triangle PNO by SAS congruence postulate or side angle side congruence postulate. Next is the ASA or angle side angle congruence postulate. So sinasabi sa postulate na to na congruent daw yung dalawang triangle kapag yung dalawang angle at ang included side ng isang triangle ay congruent doon sa corresponding two angles and included side ng isa pang triangle. So, let's have an example. So, angle T is congruent to angle M. 
Angle O is congruent to angle A. Segment TO is con TO is congruent to segment M. Eh, kapag sinabi nating included side, napapagitnaan siya ng dalawang angle. Katulad ni segment TO at ni segment MA. Okay? So therefore, triangle TOP is congruent to triangle MAN by ASA congruence postulate. Let's have another example. What congruence postulate does the figure below illustrate? So we have angle MNO. M and O is congruent to, to angle P and O. Angle N O P is congruent to triangle N O M. Okay? So, ano yung included side? Ang included side I see segment N O congruent kay segment N O by reflexive property. So, therefore, Triangle MNO is congruent to triangle PNO by ASA congruence postulate. Next, we have the SSS or side-side-side congruence postulate. Sinasabi dito na congruent daw yung dalawang triangle kapag lahat ng side ng triangle ay congruent doon sa corresponding sides ng isa pang triangle. So, tatlong side yung sinasabi natin dito. So, let's have an example. Segment TO is congruent to segment MA. Segment TP is congruent to segment MN. Segment OP is congruent to segment AN. So, nakita natin na dito sa isang triangle, yung mga corresponding sides niya dito sa isa pang triangle ay congruent sila sa isa't isa. Therefore, triangle TOP is congruent to triangle MAN by SSS or side-side-side congruence postulate. For our last congruence postulate, we have the SAA or side angle angle congruence postulate. So, sinasabi sa postulate na to na congruent daw yung dalawang triangle kapag yung dalawang angle at yung non-included side ng isang triangle ay congruent doon sa corresponding two angles and doon sa non-included side ng isa pang triangle. Kapag sinabi nating non-included side, is wala siya sa gitna nung dalawang angle. So, kaya tinawag natin tong side angle, angle, congruence, postulate. Let's have an example. We have angle T is congruent to angle M, angle O is congruent to angle A, and segment TP is congruent to segment MN. So, napansin nyo na wala sa gitna ng dalawang angle yung side na congruent sa dalawang triangle kasi tinatawag natin itong non-included side. So, therefore, triangle TOP is congruent to triangle MAN by SAA congruence postulate. Let's have another example. Angle N is congruent to angle P. Angle NMO is congruent to angle PM. O. So, ito yon Congruent sila sa isa't isa. At ang non-included side na congruent ay segment MO is congruent to segment MO by reflexive property o, ulit. Therefore, triangle MNO is congruent to triangle PNO by SAA congruence postulate. Do you have any questions? So, this is your activity. Try to answer it. I hope you're learning.